Hello, welcome back to Seal from the Heart Creation. In today's project, I'm gonna I'm going to attempt to make this apron. It's gonna be a pocket apron, half an apron, and the measurements are gonna be 29 by 58, and that's a half fold, and which is gonna half fold to 29 by 36. The pockets are going to be 28 by 12 and the straps are going to be 28 by 5. You need um, two pieces of 28 by 5 for the straps for each side. I'm going to be using duck material. The sewing machine that I'm using is a SE600 and I folded my material and everything and ironed it so we're just going to get right on into it. The first thing we want to do is we want to sew the ends of the strap. We want to turn this material inside out. We're just going to be using a single stitch, nothing fancy. And when we get to the end here, we're going to do a diagonal. We're just going to turn the material and we're going to go ahead and diagonal stitch this. And I'm going to back, back stitch a little bit. And I'm going to do the same for the other material. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off, the diagonal piece. And I'm going to turn this material in the inside. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and Put my cover on my scissors and I'm going to take the scissors inside of here and straighten out my edges. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to iron this and I'll come back and sew this piece, these two straps, onto the main body of the apron. Okay, this is my main piece and I'm going to connect my ties on the inside of here. I have everything turned face to face. So I'm going to put my ties here at the crease. And I'm going to close it up. I'm going to bring them out just a tad. And I'm going to close this back up. Let me do the other side as well. Before I close that up, I'm putting these in the inside. And I'm going to leave a little slit at the very bottom after I sew this up so that I can pull this inside out. Okay, I have all of the ends pinned up now, so I'm just gonna sew up and I'm gonna do about an eighth of an inch and sew all the three sides except for the opening that I actually um, left to turn the fabric inside out. And this is how we look. This is our apron right here. We're going to close this in right here by ironing it. And then I'm going to come back and do like an eighth of an inch all the way around. 
and then we'll be ready to put the pocket on it. So again, I'm going to go iron this and then we can come back. Okay, I finished everything. I ironed it. Of course, you're going to have to keep ironing it because this type of material get wrinkled. I put in my closure here. So I'm going to sew this one eighth of an inch all the way around. Okay, now we're back at the other side. So now I can go ahead and put the pocket on it. I have pinned everything up. So now we're going to go over here to the sewing machine and we're going to sew this together as well. We're going to sew that on there now. So now we're going to cut off the strings of the thread and make our pockets. where I want to do this. This measures out to be twenty-seven and five eighths. So I'm gonna park it at ten. I'll say nine and eighteen. So I'm going to go ahead and mark those two with my pen. Nine. And 18. And then we're going to sew this together down the, down, down the center. Give me a little mark here. Of course, this can wipe out, wash out, I'm sorry. And then after I complete this apron, we're going to put a design on it. This is for my niece. She's a teacher and she asked for an apron. And this is the finished product, y'all. It's all done. And this is the apron. pockets and what am I going to say about this it is marvelous I think my niece is going to like it but I'm not through with this because I have to put some little designs on here for her but I think this this apron came out pretty neat what do you guys think I think it's nice Okay, we are now back and the apron is totally completed. So what I'm going to do is these are the designs that my customer wanted on her apron. She wanted her name. Welcome to. She's a school teacher and she wanted Space Jam. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, use the Easy Press and um, we're going to put, I have the templates and everything or should I say the design already made up this is a um, offset and then I have the um, holographic um, name but we're going to do the Space Jam first and this is the, the um, this is the DTV the direct transfer vinyl and that is to be heated on 315 for 15 seconds and I'm going to actually use I want to use the parchment paper because I want it to be glossy and I don't want it to be matted so let me get 
paper here. And I'm just going to use some of that parchment paper. And we're going to heat this first. I didn't need um, the transfer tape because it was already one piece and it didn't have pieces to come out. So I'm going to go ahead and press this now for 15 seconds. press this other side too because I don't think it went all the way I had a little baby one so so let's see how that came out guys and that just looked marvelous I think I should press it a little bit more over here but look at that that is just vibrant I want to do that a little bit more to the other side and as I was looking at Caesars um website they said if you wanted this to be matted that you could put the Teflon on here and take it back but I like that just like it is isn't that marvelous now I'm going to go ahead and put my temperature up five more because it said I should do 320 for this is um, the HT Vaunt heat transfer vinyl that I'm using for the name. So it's 320 that we have to go up to. And we have to press that for 10, 15 minutes. It's, no, I'm sorry, 15, 20 minutes. So I'm going to only press this for about a couple of seconds to just get it adhered to the cloth or to the material. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the top piece on it. So I'm going to put some parchment paper on that too. I just don't like putting this down without. And I'm just going to do this just a little bit. To get it adhered to the apron itself I think that's good enough and you gotta let that cool for about 45 seconds they say so but I love this y'all that looks so beautiful okay here we go now we're gonna go ahead and put her name on front. Now let's see how this goes. Okay. And we're going to press this on 20 seconds. Do it this way. I'm just going to put a little firmness down on it. And just let that sit for a little while. And as you can see, that's coming out just marvelous. I'm going to move this over so we can do the other side. And 
And I'm going to do this for 15. I'm sorry, I'm going to do this for probably about 10. Let's do 10. That's the other side. It didn't come through. I had to go twice, so I do it for 10. And that's good enough. Not that cool. We're going back over here. This is cool now. Look at that. Voila. Just marvelous. What y'all guys think? Let me go on and zoom in a little bit. You see that? I think that is marvelous. Yes. Go to the other side now. That's cool to the touch. Almost. Let's see. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it is. Oh, wow. I did not want that on there. Let's see if I can pull that off. I'm going to leave it on there. Give it some character. I saw that strap on there, but I, I didn't want that on there. But it can't come off now, y'all, so I'm going to leave it on there. And I'm going to put this on here. And now we're going to press this for 20. Cool down. This is just marvelous right here, y'all. I love this DVT DTV. You gotta get it. I actually cut mine on. It was um uh vinyl, regular vinyl in Cricut, and I used more pressure to cut this out. Yep, that's what I did. That's what I did. Alright, let it cool a little bit more. I love how this apron is. Here we go. Voila! That line doesn't look too bad. And here's the apron. If you like what you see, don't forget to like the video, share the video, subscribe to my channel. And as always, you have a marvelous day. Until the next video.